Good afternoon, lovely people. Welcome to Tiny Kitchen Big Flavor. I wanted to pop in real quick to show you a seasoning that I make. Um, I don't measure anything, so really it's all, you kind of wing it. If you like a lot of garlic, you can add a lot of garlic. So I start with my garlic, an orange, limes, maybe two or three limes, um, and a grapefruit. Then I add two packets of Italian seasoning. I add some um, olive oil, and I add some of this here. Uh, complete seasoning sazón completo. Completa, eh, badia and oregano, and olive oil, of course. And then I put it in my ninja, and I blend it all up. And this is what you end up with. And I use this to season my pork. Um, it doesn't, you might want, you, you may want to be careful because this seasoning has salt. Everything else doesn't have salt. So if you like a little bit of salt, use salt to taste. Um, and then I season it and I normally refrigerate it for a day or two before I cook it. And actually you can cook it however, whatever, however you like. You can grill it, you can, you know, put it on pork chops, you can, basically this seasoning is amazing. So give it a try, you guys. I just wanted to share this quick video with you. I'm getting ready to season this. Let me just show you real quick. And you see how creamy, it almost looks like a thick salad dressing consistency. Whoops. So now and you massage your meat and season it really good, like I'm doing here. Obviously these gloves will be thrown out. I, um, I don't do anything without my gloves, people. And this is not because of the coronavirus, this is always. Um, I use whenever I'm handling meat, whatever, I always wear gloves and then I throw them out, etc. So I wish that you could smell the aroma of the seasoning. The other thing that's important to know that the citrus in here, it serves as a meat tenderizer. So it'll tenderize your meat. So that's why also it's good to leave it like for, you know, a day or two season. Ta-ta guys, we'll talk later. Hope you give this um, seasoning a try. Bye.